It is one of the most powerful and versatile self-propelled artillery systems in the world. Capable of firing three rounds in under nine seconds, the German Panzerhaubitzer 2000 howitzer is also one of the artillery guns with the most impressive fire rate in modern warfare. The enormous mobile howitzer might be confused with a massive tank at first glance due to its thick armor and rotating turret configuration. Still, the 155mm gun mounted on the armored vehicle can deliver a devastating barrage of indirect fire that can reach up to 40 kilometers. The unprecedented artillery gun made its debut during NATO's incursion into Afghanistan in the early 2000s, covering its international security assistance force troops and obliterating enemy positions from a safe distance. The Panzer Haubitze 2000 was so crucial to the efforts in the region that it soon gained the nickname the Long Arm of ISAF. Despite Germany's current policy of avoiding arms races, the device clearly shows that they are still capable of producing revolutionary weapons. And as new conflicts erode around the globe, the Panzer Haubitze 2000 is sure to deter even the most vicious warmongers from attacking Germany and its allies. Development Developed by Krauss Maffei Wegmann, or KMW, cooperatively with the leading subcontractor Rheinmetall Land System, the 155mm self-propelled howitzer Panzerhaubitze 2000 was created as a modern artillery solution for the German army and as a replacement for the aging and increasingly unreliable PZH-155-1. The powerful 52 caliber rifled gun is chromium lined for its entire 8 meter length and includes a muzzle brake on the end. This weapon also uses an innovative modular charge system with six charges and a capacity to store 60 rounds at any given time. The formidable loading system developed for the Panzer Haubitze 2000 is part of what makes such a high rate of fire possible. Besides the modular charge arrangement, the primer is loaded separately via a conveyor belt and the total loading, laying and clearing are entirely automated. A modified version of the Wegmann's Leopard 2 was chosen for the chassis of the mobile artillery unit and the turret where the gun is mounted. That is the main reason why the Panzer Haubitze 2000 resembles an oversized tank. However, that's where similarities end, as the howitzer is equipped with specialized continuous tracks and suspension systems that give it superb cross-country performance. Breakthrough The weapon's propulsion system is located in the front of the hull. It consists of an 8-cylinder direct-injection supercharged MTU-MT881 KA500 diesel engine with a 4-speed Rank HSWL-284C gearbox. The hull is also heavily reinforced to protect the unit and crew from enemy counterattacks. This design was modified after its first iteration in the early 2000s, and the newer version, developed in the 2010s, has thicker armor and can fire a more comprehensive array of ammunition. The turret in the latest Panzer Haubitz 2000 also includes a phased array radar to measure the muzzle velocity of each fired shell. This data can be automatically sent to strategic headquarters for targeting adjustments. The initial intended maximum range of the howitzer was 30 kilometers. However, the artillery solution overtook its own design limits in May of 2001, when during a series of test firings for the Hellenic Army, the PZH-2000 fired 20 rounds, all to ranges exceeding 40 kilometers, with a maximum distance of 41.8 kilometers. Conventional howitzers have an approximate range of just over 14 kilometers, making the Panzer Haubitze 2000 a significant breakthrough in modern artillery development. The unique range capabilities of the German solution were further reinforced in November of 2002 during live firings in Sweden, where similar ranges were obtained using Rheinmetall's new long-range RH-40BB ammunition. The impressive ranges were obtained using M2000BB Esagai shells from the Denel Corporation of South Africa, in combination with the Rheinmetall DM-72 modular charge system equipped on the howitzer. Eventually, a staggering range of 67 kilometers was achieved using M2005 VLAP-assisted projectiles. To put it in perspective, 
A Panzer Howitzer 2000 could engage targets in New York City, all the way from Trenton, New Jersey, while remaining virtually immune to artillery counterstrikes. Around the world. The German army initially requested 450 units, but it has since reduced the demand to 260 as the government decreased its military budget in 2012. However, production of the unique howitzer continued as the Italian, Dutch, and Greek armies became highly interested in buying the German artillery solution. Greece acquired 24 units, while 70 were delivered to the Italian army thanks to a German-Italian co-production program. The system entered service with the Italian army in June of 2007 and accomplished initial operating capability in October of 2008. Today, the Panzerhaubitze 2000 is an essential part of Italy's artillery divisions. The Dutch army signed a contract to purchase 57 units, which later decreased to 39, and completed deliveries by 2010. The remaining 18 units were offered to the Australian army, but were rejected. Due to its outstanding range, rate of fire, and reliability, German commanders are considering the gun's potential as a naval artillery solution. Thus, a Panzerhaubitzer 2000 turret has been successfully mounted on the deck of the German Navy F-124 frigate Hamburg. No further details regarding the howitzer's gun use as a naval weapon has been revealed. Still, according to preliminary reviews, the gun is more than capable of performing adequately while mounted on the deck of a warship. Afghanistan It wouldn't take long for the groundbreaking artillery system to go from the testing grounds to the battlefields. As NATO began a large-scale incursion into Afghanistan in the early 2000s to root out the Taliban extremist forces hiding in the region, the howitzer would become a significant advantage for the International Security Assistance Force. In September of 2006, the Panzerhaubitze 2000 would complete its first live-fire combat operation, serving for the Dutch Army in Afghanistan as part of Operation Medusa. During these preliminary tasks, three Panzerhaubitzes provided artillery support from over 30 kilometers away to NATO task forces as they attacked key Taliban positions. The system continued being used during the four stages of the ISAF deployment from 2006 to 2014. During that time, the weapon's formidable capabilities earned the admiration of Allied forces deployed across Afghanistan. Still, some significant flaws also became apparent. Solutions Despite its initial fantastic test results, the gun was heavily criticized by the Dutch Army as the delicate automated reloading systems were designed for use in Europe and could not cope with the high level of dust in Afghanistan, leading to malfunctions and mechanical mishaps. Additionally, the gun's drastic increase in armor during the development of the second iteration resulted in significant issues, including the need to always keep the system in the shade unless actually firing. If this wasn't done routinely, the internal chambers would overload, risking the integrity of the system and the crew operating it. Ironically, the howitzer's automated temperature regulation system didn't seem to address the issue, nor did the fact that the gun needed to be warmed before the operation to avoid a considerable cold gun effect that drastically affected the performance and rate of fire. To solve the cold gun problem, unique warmers had to be used by the Dutch Army to prepare the artillery units before every firing procedure during cold days and nights. The heavy armor plates and the hefty track and suspension systems also led to another shortcoming that caused civilians to come into conflict with NATO troops as the howitzer would completely destroy local roads as the unit moved from one location to the next. Putting aside the flaws presented when operated in less than ideal conditions, the Panzerhaubitzer 2000 remains one of modern warfare's most remarkable artillery solutions. To this date, more and more of Germany's allies are requesting access to the weapon. Thanks to its lightning-fast rate of fire and unprecedented range, it might just make the difference between failure and victory in conflicts to come. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this, subscribe to Dark Tech and check out our other Dark Documentaries channels. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest content. Stay tuned.